Hello there, Rahul this side and uh, this is one of the most requested videos from many of you guys and like how to import the resource back into our Terraform code. So I have prepared this session where I'll be taking two examples. So in the first example, I'll be just creating an EC2 instance on AWS manually from the web GUI console. So where I'll go and create an EC2 instance and then I'll use the Terraform import command to import that EC2 instance back to our Terraform code. And once I have imported that resource, then I'm just gonna uh, write the Terraform code or reconstruct the Terraform code for that particular EC2 instance. So that is going to be one basic example so that you know like how Terraform import works. Second, we are just going to take one more example where we will be creating an S3 bucket manually from again from the GUI console of AWS. And then we are just going to uh, run the Terraform import command to uh, re-import the whole S3 bucket back into our Terraform code and reconstruct the Terraform code for our S3 bucket. So these are the two examples which I'll be covering this session. But these concepts and the command uh, are pretty much common, uh, which you can use uh, whenever you are working with any other resource on AWS as well as on a Google Cloud or so let's switch over to uh, my desktop and uh, let's see some demo in action. Let's try to understand the situation over here. So on the right hand side, you will see this is our AWS environment. And in this AWS environment, we have already started an EC2 machine, which is running. And for that EC2 instance, we have got a unique ID associated with that EC2 instance. But that EC2 instance has been started manually or someone has already done in the past. But if you we'll take a look on the left hand side, then we don't have the Terraform code for that particular EC2 machine. So whenever we talk about Terraform, then we should have a infrastructure as a code for each resource which we are trying to start on cloud environment. But in this scenario, we don't have the code or the Terraform code for that particular EC2 instance. So I'm just talking about this code. This code is completely missing. So in that kind of a scenario, we need to import the resource back and reconstruct our Terraform file so that we can later on uh, use the Terraform init plan and apply command. Now you might be wondering like what's the syntax or what's the import command uh, to import any resource from the cloud environment. So here if you look, look carefully over here into the screen then I have written an syntax for importing a resource. So first of all you need to write terraform then import and here you need to mention the resource type over here. After that you need to mention the resource name and the resource ID. So if you compare with the current example, so this resource ID, we are going to put I12345. This is just an arbitrary example I'm just taking, but I'm just uh, trying to refer to this example over here onto the top. And the resource name, uh, this resource name, you can keep anything, uh, whichever you want. So it's up to you. You can keep any resource name of your choice. But the resource type, you need to mention the exact resource type. So if it's an EC2 instance, then you need to use AWS instance over here. And if you are using uh, S3 bucket, then you need to use that S3 bucket name over here. So you need to carefully define or put the uh, AWS instance type over here. So here is the example command, which is I have written uh, considering the scenario which I have explained to you. So here, this is Terraform, this is import. And here I'm just writing the type of the instance that is AWS instance, then the name, which is EC2 example, and the ID, which I want to uh, import back. Now we have a little background on how to import the resource back. Let's try to simulate the scenario. So first of all, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to manually create an EC2 instance onto my AWS console. So this is my AWS account. I'll just go and click on launch instances. I'll put the name of the uh, instance that is EC2 example. I'm just going to use any Ubuntu machine. And uh, here I'm just gonna verify all the details. So I'm just gonna use T2 micro because I'm just doing it for demo. That's why. And uh, here, uh, let's keep the key pair name. I just don't want to associate any key pair. And I will just go with the default configuration. Actually, I just wanted to uh, set up something uh, uh, for EC2 instance. And uh, I'll just click on the launch instance. Oh, I need to create the key pair. So I will just go over here and I will just select this one, which I have already created. And I'll just click on launch instance. So this will set up an EC2 instance for me. And I think it's already done it. So if you go on instances, so you can see over here. So this instance is just getting started. So the key thing which I you need to remember over here is the instance ID, which you can see over here. I'll zoom in a bit. 
So this is the instance ID which is important for us because that instance ID we will be needing uh, for importing our resources. So now I'll switch back to my ID and we will uh, run some Terraform import commands. Okay, so here is my ID and this is the Terraform code which I need to write. So first of all, you if you look carefully, so I have written only the resource block over here. The resource block is empty because we have not imported anything yet. So uh, first of all, just create a provider. Uh, since I'm using AWS, that's why the provider over here is AWS. And uh, the resource type. So here, I'm just trying to import the EC2 instance. So that's why the resource type is AWS instance. And here, EC2 example, this is just uh, uh, my own defined name, which you can keep by your own choice. So, and after that, the body of the resource should be empty because we are just trying to import the resource. All right. Now we need to create the Terraform import command. So just this is an example I have already written for Terraform import command, which I have commented. So here we need to replace this instance ID. So I will just go back to my AWS console and here I will just copy this ID, go back to my IDE. I'll just replace the command. Okay, so here uh, I'm just trying to write the Terraform import on uh, AWS instance. The instance is EC2 example, which is a user defined name and the instance ID. So this is the command which we are going to use for importing the resource. Let's copy the whole command and go to your terminal. So this is my terminal and just paste the command and hit enter. And here you can see import successful, which means you have imported the EC2 instance from AWS console or AWS environment to your local Terraform workspace. Now, once you have imported the resource from uh, AWS console, you need to reconstruct the Terraform code for your EC2 instance. So as of now, you can see our body is still empty, but we have already imported our resource. So what we are going to do, we are just going to insert the missing tags or missing attributes, which is necessary for creating an EC2 instance. So the important attribute which we are talking about is the AMI, the machine ID, which is needed for provisioning an EC2 instance, the instance type, which is T2.0 micro if you remember previously from the ui console we have set up this t2.micro and the tag name tag names are kind of optional if you have inserted over there then just try to keep the same tag name all right so now we have reconstructed the body of our ec2 instance and we have already imported the resource now we need to verify that our terraform code is correct in accordance with our ec2 instance which is running on an aws uh, environment so for that what we can do we just need to run the terraform plan and after that we can just run the terraform apply command so both the command should be successful and it should not create any new EC2 instance because our EC2 instance is already running. Our aim is to recreate the whole Terraform code, not to restart or not to recreate the resource. So here, once we will run the Terraform plan and once we will run the Terraform apply command, then nothing will get provisioned. It will just uh, uh, complete successfully without adding or removing any new resources. Let's open the terminal over here. And the next command which I'm just going to run is Terraform plan just to verify that whether we have imported the resource successfully or not. So the command which I'm just going to run is Terraform plan. And here you can see after importing the resource, we are able to run the Terraform plan command and it says like uh, no changes, your infrastructure matches the configuration. So that means we have successfully imported the resource back. And similarly, if we are going to run the Terraform apply command, then also it's just it's just going to run successful without adding or destroying any resource. So I'm just going to run Terraform apply. And here you can see uh, all apply complete without any resource has been added or destroyed. So that means you have successfully imported the resource back into your Terraform code. Now we have seen in the previous example how to import an EC2 instance. Now the next example we are going to see how to import an S3 bucket back into our Terraform code. So for that I'm just going to first create an S3 bucket. So I'm just going to go over here onto AWS console and S3 and then click on create bucket. And here you can mention the name of the bucket. So I'm just going to keep my demo jhook uh, bucket just for an example i'm just gonna correct the typo name over here sorry it should be bucket yeah 
I'll just go with the default configuration over here and uh, I'll just uh, create a tag also. So I'll just put the name and I'll just put the name of the tag that is test, sorry, bucket. And after that, I'm just gonna click on create bucket. It might take few time. And here you can see our test bucket has been created. Now we are just gonna re-import this test bucket into our Terraform code. And now I'll switch over to my ID and then we will run the Terraform import commands. So this is my ID and here we need to reconstruct the ter Terraform import command with the correct bucket name. So if you go back to our browser, and here you will see the name of the bucket is my demo jhook bucket. That's the name of my bucket. So if you go back to ID, then you will find uh, I have written the command with the bucket name. So the command is again pretty simple Terraform import. The resource name is AWS S3 bucket. This is the resource type name for AWS. You need to be really careful. And then uh, the resource type name, uh, this can be user defined name, but this one should be AWS S3 bucket because it signifies the resource type. And this one signifies the name which you are trying to assign to that particular type. And this is the actual bucket which we have created over there onto GUI. So this is the command. And also here I'm just creating the resource block, which is empty because first of all, I just want to import. And also whenever you're trying to import the bucket, then you need to create the AWS S3 bucket ACL poly, uh, resource block also. Otherwise you will not be import all the uh, attributes of S3 bucket from AWS. All right, so now we have placed everything. Uh, so I'm just gonna copy this command from here go to my terminal and paste the command over here and hit enter. And here you can see uh, we have imported the S3 bucket uh, successfully onto our uh, uh, local workspace. Till now we have only imported the one part of the S3 bucket. The next part which we need to import is the AWS S3 bucket ACL. And the command is again pretty simple Terraform import type of the resource that is AWS S3 bucket ACL and the name which is I am taking over here is example so I'm just kept the same thing over here and the name of the bucket for which this uh, AWS S3 bucket ACL belongs so that's the my demo jhook bucket which is same as over here so I'm just gonna rerun this command also so that we can import the second part of this AWS S3 bucket ACL also so I'm just gonna head over to terminal I'm just gonna paste the command over here and hit enter and here you can see it has been imported successfully now the next thing what we are gonna do we are just gonna uh, reconstruct the piece of code in our terraform file coming back to my code so here the first thing which we need to insert the attribute is the bucket and that should match with the name that is bucket name and this is the bucket name which we have we are trying to import then secondly the tags which is the important attribute so this is the tag which we have created at the time of uh, creation of a s3 bucket manually from the gui console so these are the two important attributes which we need to put in over here and secondly, uh, for uh, AWS S3 ACL bucket, we need to, I have just copied it already. So you need to reference the original bucket. So here, AWS S3, which is this one, the my test bucket, which is this one, and the ID. So the whatever ID uh, which we have got in AWS, the same ID we are going to refer over here. So this way, this is going to point to this particular bucket. So these are the block uh, which or the Terraform code which you need to fill in uh, after importing the resources. After that, we are just going to run the Terraform plan and then we are just going to run the Terraform apply command. And again, same, uh, this Terraform plan and Terraform apply command will not do anything, but it should complete successfully so that you can verify that you have important, imported everything successfully. All right, so this is my terminal and I'm just gonna clean the previous output. The next command which I'm just gonna run is terraform plan. And here you can see it says no changes and your infrastructure matches the configuration, which means we have successfully imported all the resources related to our S3 bucket. And here you can see the resources name that is our S3 bucket and AWS S3 bucket ACL. So these two resources we have imported successfully. And at the same time, if you are trying to run the Terraform apply command also, then also it's gonna execute successfully without adding or changing any kind of a resources. So here you can see 
no changes your configuration matches the configuration so this is how you are going to import the resource i have just shown a very basic example for ec2 instance and s3 bucket but if you have any kind of a resource uh, which is already provisioned then you need to look for that resource definition uh, like how you can you create that particular resource using terraform and then you need to run the terraform import command and reconstruct the terraform code for that particular resource I hope this tutorial will help you to understand the concept of a Terraform import and these Terraform import concept can be used for any cloud environment whether it's a Google Cloud or whether it's Azure. So you can just look for the uh, like actual code uh, like what kind of a code or what kind of a resource you are trying to provision and then try to uh, look for the IDs which are associated with that resource and try to run the Terraform import command. And then you need to reconstruct the whole code of your Terraform and that you can reconstruct by referring to the Terraform documentation because they have a really good documentation for all this. So you just need to reconstruct the body of your Terraform code. And then you should be able to reconstruct the whole Terraform code for already provisioned resources. So I hope you liked the today's session on Terraform import and if you are interested into the similar concept on Terraform or DevOps then please consider subscribing to this channel and if you have any comments or suggestion then please put down into the uh, comment section in, uh, below and I'll try to answer those. So see you into the next session of a Terraform till then take care and bye bye.